question that they're trying to answer is, how is pollution and climate change and habitat loss affecting the species population? So you guys just gonna collect some data and then we'll gather in and see what we got. Um, and that should be a lot of fun. I kind of always liked the idea that science explains the world around us. These huge, broad concepts, this whole idea about the world around us, and it explains it in simple terms that anybody can understand. That's so pretty. <laughs> it's really close, too. Okay. So you're just going to go into this and then click at existing bird areas? So at the California Academy of Sciences, we offer a really robust set of opportunities for kids uh, in middle school and high school. So what we've developed is a portfolio of programs that really range from performing arts to digital learning. And we've designed those programs to intentionally link to each other so that young people can enter through one program and then move on to another program and continue to develop their expertise. Mariah started with the Science Action Club. She was able to move from there to apply to be a careers in science intern and, and was accepted into that program. So she was able to take all of the experiences that she gained in her middle school after school program and then parlay that into her experience as an intern with the Academy. We're going to be recording the different birds that we see on the yard. And the Science Action Club program is an after school program in which middle school kids get to do authentic science through some citizen science projects that they do at their school site. Information and data that we collect can really be important in a lot of different research, like human impact on bird populations in urban and suburban, all different types of setting, and of course we're doing it in a kind of urban city environment. Most importantly, they do authentic science that is part of a national scientific um, question that's being researched. How is pollution and climate change and habitat loss affecting the species population? You're actually participating in like authentic research and giving to a real database and you're being a part of this thing that's bigger than you are. And you guys need binoculars too, right? I think that experience is life-changing for a student who is just in middle school. You guys, there's a unique bird right there. It's a brown-headed cowbird. You got it! You've seen two. A lot of programs and a lot of organizations are embracing this kind of model of putting the kids as the leaders of the experience and, and having them create the experience for themselves with what might have been called in the past the teachers, serving more of a mentorship or a coaching role. If there's one specifically you don't know, you can always use the app. What are its main colors? They come to us with a real curiosity and an interest in science, but what we see after their time with us is deep content knowledge. More important than that, they actually understand how science is done and the nature of scientific inquiry. So now you guys know that the information and the data that you guys collected today is going to be put into a lot of important research and you guys are citizens doing for science. <laughs> Teaching at Dinman was a lot of fun because I used to go to Dinman and I got to um, spend time with students who were once me. <laughs> so let's see if we can find what? Some infographs that display data and... The Careers in Science internship program is a four-year program and it's a paid internship. She is considered a part of the Academy's staff where they get to work alongside our scientists here at the Academy. What two topics do we have? E-cigarettes and leeches. And they loved both of those. Being an intern, I've learned a lot about the importance of being a teacher and also of being a leader. One of my favorite like forms of teaching would have to be writing for KQED and having the things that we're so passionate about actually published. Around 7,000 tweets about e-cigs in total, and we contributed a strong almost 300 to that number. Mm -hmm. Students from all around the country get to read our article and they get to debate about the topic that we choose. Mariah, do you want to do the next one? Yes, it should be prescribed by doctors for addicts, not just freely sold to teens and adults who don't need it. What do we think about that? We see the tweet and we're basically facilitating an online discussion. Do you guys want to walk onto that side, uh, that field? We're training her to be an ambassador to other members of the public 
to explain how science works, why it's important. She's an embodiment of what we call really a public engagement. How do you communicate science in a way that people get it, they understand the relevance of it, they're interested to learn more. The bird that we saw today, brown-headed cowbird, is actually uh, considered a parasite. Not only do we have this opportunity to teach these young students about things that we're very passionate about and that hopefully they're passionate about too, we also give them kind of a preview or a picture of what they can be, how they can also be teachers and how they also can convey science in the way that we're doing. And the Mel's are glossy black with a chocolate brown head. Do you think that's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that's it too. If you're not able to visualize being a scientist, you're not gonna do it. And I think that we're that picture in a way.